Hi, and welcome back to GCSE History Lessons. In this lesson, we will examine the Berlin Crisis of 1948 to 1949 and the establishment of Commune form. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the reasons for establishing Commune form, explain the reasons for and events of the Berlin Crisis, and understand the impacts of the Berlin Crisis. You will remember from previous lessons that Germany and Berlin were divided between Soviet, American, British and French occupation zones after World War II, and that the leaders of these countries could not come to an agreement about German reunification during the post-war conferences. This left Germany divided into zones for the foreseeable future, with Berlin 100 miles inside the Soviet zone. You will also remember that in 1947, Harry Truman announced that the USA would stand up to the USSR wherever it tried to spread its influence, and in June of the same year, the US Secretary of State George C. Marshall announced a plan to rebuild Europe, which Western European nations accepted, but the Communist East did not. Stalin's first move in response to the Marshall Plan was to create an organisation called Cominform on October 5, 1947. Its name was a combination of communist and information, and it was meant to give Moscow more control over communist parties all over the world. He recognised the confusion created over the Marshall Plan, and worried that communist governments might be tempted to take the USA's offers. At its founding conference, the creator of Cominform, Andrei Zdandov, spoke of the world divided into two camps. This phrase echoed the language used when Truman announced his own doctrine, which we examined last lesson. Commune form was used in 1947 to order French communists to strike against the government and directed the Italian communists to attempt to win the 1948 general election. A communist government in Italy was avoided with strong support from America's CIA. The communist takeover in Czechoslovakia, a democracy which had done its best to avoid dominance by Russia, alarmed the governments in Western Europe. Commune forms meddling in French politics forced it into the USA and UK's camp even further, and without an agreement on Germany, the Western powers decided to move ahead with the reunification of Western Germany alone. They fused their zones and created a West German government with its own currency, this infuriated Stalin. Stalin saw Berlin as his opportunity to hit back at the West. The city was divided between Soviet and Western zones, but its funds and supplies coming in from the West needed to cross 100 miles of Soviet territory. On June 24, 1948, the Russians imposed an immediate blockade on all road, rail and river access from the West into Berlin. They also cut off the city's electricity. Staying true to the Truman Doctrine and strategy of containment, Truman and Attlee refused to back down. The next day they began to send food and supplies by air to Berlin, and the British press announced that the US was sending 60 B-29 bomber planes to Britain. This was the USA's strategic strike force, and it was left deliberately unclear as to whether these planes were capable of dropping nuclear bombs. The Berlin airlift became an international spectacle, and a humiliation for Stalin. Crossing Soviet airspace and risking being shot down by USSR forces, Britain and America sent a minimum of 12,000 tonnes of food and supplies every day for more than 10 months. Planes were flying into Berlin, on average, once every three minutes, day and night. It became known in Germany as the Luftbrücke, or Air Bridge. On May 12, 1949, Stalin admitted defeat and lifted the blockade. So, to summarise what we've learned today. Commune form allowed the USSR to have more control over communist governments and political parties all over the world. Commune form was Stalin's response to the confusion in East Europe over the Marshall Plan. Commune form was used to instruct French communists to strike, that is to stop work, against the French government. Angry at the USSR, France dropped its objections to an independent Germany and agreed to join its zone with the UK and US zones to create a West German government. In response, Stalin blocked supplies from entering the Western occupied zones of Berlin and cut off the city's power on June 24, 1948. 
The Berlin airlift supplied Berliners with food and necessities for almost a year. Stalin lifted the blockade on May 12, 1949, humiliating the USSR and proving that the Truman Doctrine could contain Soviet influence. Next lesson, we will take a look at the establishment of East Germany and West Germany as separate states. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time on GCSE History Lessons.